Rapoblique is an episodic action-adventure stealth video game developed by Camouflage and Logan Games and published by Gungho Online Entertainment. The game was originally announced for iOS devices but has since expanded to Android, Microsoft Windows and OS X a PlayStation 4 version, containing all five episodes, has been released on March 22, 2016. Gameplay. Players communicate with the main character, Hope, through their phone or computer, in order to help her escape. The player controls surveillance cameras in the fictional totalitarian state or corporate republic of Republic in order to monitor Hope's actions, as well as hack into various electronic devices. The interface that the player must use is the OmniView software, which allows them to lock and unlock doors, distract patrolling enemies, and obtain information. In some situations, the player must upgrade their OmniView to higher versions, enabling them to access areas and nodes with stronger security. In the OS X and Windows versions, players will be able to access multiple cameras at once. Topic. Plot Republic takes place in an unnamed totalitarian state similar to George Orwell's 1984, led by its sinister overseer, headmaster, named Treglazov, voiced by Dwight Schultz, a powerhouse technology and security mogul with an insane ideology he's peddled most of his life, mostly through books. His latest book, A Manifesto He's Concocted, is what he's used to initiate his utopia, and has given them to everyone who lives in, and works for it. Within a facility a part of it called Metamorphosis, Prizrak, the hired guards of the totalitarian state, protect from intruders, and keep in line the adolescents called Pre-Cals, short for pre-calibration, who are getting mysterious experiments performed on them, and are people who were born and raised in the facility. One pre-cal teenager, Hope, voiced by Rena Strober, manages to contact the player through their phone, and requests them to help her escape from Metamorphosis. Hope and the player receive assistance from Cooper, voiced by James Holloway, an American who works as a prisrak in Metamorphosis, and has grown a strong hate for it. Other characters include Daniel Marcus Zager, voiced by David Hayter, a deceased journalist, revolutionary who leaves audio logs behind for Hope and the player, and Murray Prado, voiced by Jennifer Hale, who serves as a high-ranking official for the facility, and as Hope and every other pre-cal's caretaker, and may or may not be an infiltrator who's against Treglazov. Topic: <laughs> Development. Ryan Payton, founder of Camouflage, initiated the project because he wanted to stop complaining about the lack of real games on mobile and start making one. The idea for Hope came about when he was performing a thought experiment about how to make Love Plus for a Western audience. Payton cites 1984 as a major influence on the atmosphere. The game also draws inspiration from Metal Gear, the first Resident Evil, and Demon's Souls. The central themes are voyeurism, paranoia, censorship, and control. Logan co-founder Alexei Tylovich serves as art director. Logan will focus on visual development while Camouflage handles the gameplay and systems. Peyton claims the game will last four to six hours and feature Metroidvania style exploration. On April 11, 2012, Camouflage launched a Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign to raise $500,000 to help with development costs. The project was funded on May 11, 2012 with a total of $555,662. Reception Episode 1, Exordium Episode 1, Exordium received generally favorable reviews according to review aggregator metacritic topic <inaudible> episode 2 metamorphosis episode 2 metamorphosis received generally favorable reviews according to metacritic topic <inaudible> Episode 3, Ones and Zeros 
Episode 3, Ones and Zeros received generally favorable reviews, according to Metacritic. Topic. Episode 4, God's Acre Episode 4, God's Acre received mixed or average reviews, according to Metacritic. Topic. Episode 5, Terminus Episode 5, Terminus received mixed or average reviews, according to Metacritic. <laughs>